They are the carrot to get you in the system. Airdrops get you in for better, or for worse. So free, every time I see free airdrop, I think, do I want to participate in this? System? Can I see myself participating in this in the next five years? What kind of project is this? Again, I don't like trading. So I avoid things that if my first thought is I'm going to get this airdrop and I'm going to sell it as soon as I get it. I tend to avoid those products because one that tells me that I don't believe in that product very much. Otherwise, why, why do I want to sell it immediately? Um, and two, that's just, it's just a, it's just a, not a healthy mentality in my part. I, I don't want it, to, it's one of those things logically, oh yeah, you just get it, it's free money, all this stuff. Yeah, but now, oh, you see one of your favorite streamers talking about it. Oh, I wonder what's in this. I wonder if it's pretty good. You see the product, you start following them on Twitter, you start going to Telegram and now you're involved, you're in. They got you in. And again, for better or for worse, some, some products are great like that. Hedron, you know, uh, Maximus, all this stuff. Uh, where you can you can trade, you know, some parts are airdrops. There's been a lot of airdrops, you know, that, that gave actual free money with products that have lasted a year, two years, and things like that. But uh, I would say that they are the exception. And so when I see airdrops, I'm usually not interested. I'll say it like that because I don't want. I only I have a finite amount of brain power and energy and time, and I just can't spend it on things that I don't believe in, that I don't, even if I can get, make 50 bucks or, or 200 bucks or whatever off of it, it does my time and energy and, and brain and, and my, my being around it and, and stuff means more than that money I can make off of it. So, um, I just, I don't participate very often.